Welcome to the January 2021 Saturday Sampler. This is actually the last block for the 2020 Saturday Sampler. Welcome. We have our final virtual one this way. Um, not a whole lot going on in the shop. There's literally nothing on the calendar other than the new Saturday Sampler that also starts today. I assume if you're watching this video, you're probably not doing the new Saturday Sampler. Unless maybe you're, I got have a few people coming to the one o'clock one, but of course I'll be telling everybody about that. Everything now, they'll be telling it then too. So um, I'm sad to see you go. If you're not continuing on with the 2021 Saturday Sampler, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, like I say, not a whole lot going on on um, on the shop calendar. I have not heard anything about the spring shop hop that usually happens in April. I suspect it's not going to happen. I've literally heard nothing. Maybe the fall shop hop. Quilter's Trek that starts in May, which that's the new name for what used to be Row by Row. That one will be happening. I have not yet signed up. I do plan to, but I have not yet signed up for that. The only other thing that's going on in the shop is, and I talked about this last time as well is the shop four rivers gift cards it's an e-gift card go to shop rivers.com and you can purchase a gift card that you can use yourself or you can give as a gift and it's good at many local merchants now you're not going to get a physical card unless you print it up otherwise save an image to your phone and it's got all the information, merchants, selected, you know, participating merchants, we have to run it manually, key in the number. That's just a good way to support the local economy, support small businesses in the local area. With the Shop Four Rivers gift card, all money stays local. So what is happening in the shop other than, let's see, like I say, there's nothing on the calendar other than the new, new Saturday sampler. For the show and tell raffle that you know, I always do a $50 gift certificate and you get a ticket for every show and tell item that you bring to Saturday Sampler classes. Since we only had one Saturday Sampler class and I only had like, I think half a dozen tickets in the jar, I did carry over and just rolled those into the 2021 Saturday Sampler. And so, because since we didn't have any, you know, anything in there, 2021, there will be show and tells posted up on Facebook for people to see. All right, so I guess the only thing left to do is to talk about this month's block. This month's block is called Jack in the Box. And it looks like this. It's a 10 inch block and you're going to make two of them. Not very difficult. It's got some flying geese and some half square triangles. Uh, one thing to note on this is that we told you both Cheryl's method of uh, the no waste flying geese or if you want to do the two squares flying geese method that I prefer either one they make four flying geese um, at a time you'll notice there's two blue and two green flying geese on here if this will get into focus for you so you'll make your flying geese for both blocks at the same time I've made sure that the pattern is, is it you know, explains it, hopefully it explains it well enough. And that's about it. I would love to see your quilts. Finish your quilts, bring them in. I'd love to hang them up and show them off. I will not be having a People's Choice Award, but I would still love to see your quilts. I'd love to hang your quilts for people to see if you get your quilts done and bring them in. I just, I'd, I'd love to see what you've done. And if you need help finishing your quilt, I do have the setting that Cheryl did um, with the, her borders and all, or you can make your own. You're totally invited to make your own borders to go on this quilt. You should have the diagram of how things went together. If you don't, if you need me to give you a diagram of, you know, of how things go together that I know I gave you at the beginning, but maybe you've misplaced let me know and I'll dig that out of my computer and, and, and get it to you. Anyway, so that's about it. And I hope to see you 
in the shop. Come pick up your blocks, bring in your quilts, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, smash that notification button, all those things YouTubers tell you to do. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.